I think that you can argue when you look at the subprime mortgage crisis in the U.S. that there are three primary parties that were involved. It was the regulators, uh, the banks, and the individual consumer. And I think that what's often overlooked is the solution to empowering consumers to understand more about their own finances before they... um, pursue a mortgage, for example. So in the context where you're proposing uh, that individuals have more power to contribute into equity investments, how would you ensure that they have the proper education to do that without having major transaction costs? That's very, very important. And first of all, that means that in terms of facilitating access, you gotta ensure that the products that are made available are very simple to understand. Because requiring, you know, 62 or 63 million uh, British uh, citizens, including the very young ones, to understand a CLO or a complex CDO is never going to happen. A straight bond, you know, a 10-year simple debt instrument, uh, an equity, that's much easier to understand. And there's plenty of disclosure that's available under the prospectus directive as it stands for individuals who invest to basically take the risk. That means we have to be willing, as long as the disclosure requirements and the products that are made available to the investors are deemed suitable, and that's a a burden and an onus that resides with the financial intermediary, so a simple product. We have to accept that it's going to be possible for sometimes investors to make money and to lose money. If we want a society where risk doesn't exist, then we end up in an environment where the state takes care of everything. And that's a different economic model. That's a political choice. Maybe the right choice, maybe the wrong choice. So you have to accept that ultimately the decision as to whether the instruments basically are suitable is going to be simplicity. That's where the regulator comes in, in terms of suitability. Know your customer. There's plenty of regulation in place. But also the adequacy of the, of the disclosure. Is that written? in a fashion that is understandable. And that's work that I think the Financial Conduct Authority in the UK has carried out and continued to carry out very successfully to ensure that the prospectus as published is easily understood by a normal individual without substantial, even without any, uh, um, I would say, sophisticated financial understanding. And that's something that's happening in the US today. So it's been done before, but it is, it is a risk issue and it, it must be addressed. 